Hey, good. Welcome. We're here to do your children's Sunday school lesson. Hey, I got right. it. I got it. Right. You got Steve. What's up? And you got me. Hey, you notice I'm all wet? Well, let me tell you about an incident at the middle school today. <laughs> Don't give a plunger to somebody and say plunge your urinal while you're holding your head over the toilet to see if it's actually working. I'm so surprised. This is yeah. what happens. Yeah. <laughs> up to the ceiling everywhere. <laughs> now nah, I'm just messing it in. It's raining outside. It so is get, pouring down that's outside. Right. You're ready for about four more days of rain, I believe. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're going to start with our unit verse. These are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, and that the believing you may have life in his name. And that's John 20, 31. You ain't going to believe this. Hey, look here there. I just saw it. You want to tell? It's the same. It's the same. He asked every week and it's finally there. And I just I just noticed it just now. Did you? Just uh, now. Yeah, right after you said it is when I noticed it. <laughs> <laughs> so we don't have to read another one, so they're the same. They came from John twenty, thirty one. Hey, I got an idea. All right, what's your I idea? I know we have game time at the end. Right. Let's play a little game beforehand. Oh, we get two games. Two games. Not one, but two games. Two together. games, one show. All right, let's do it. All right. So I'm going to ask you a question, and you tell me the things that would help you find these answers to the questions. All right, blue. That's my favorite color. I thought that was, I'm sorry. It's close. I, okay. I mean, all right. it, it's I a start. I jumped the gun. I'm sorry. All right. What's your favorite color? Blue. Good answer. Yeah, yeah, Good answer. Yeah, yeah. All right, so what shows you how to make macaroni and cheese? Ooh, oh, I, oh, I got it. A cookbook. What? Yes, look, I brought a cookbook because I thought we was going to do macaroni and cheese right there in the cookbook. That shows you everything. That's nice. Maybe, maybe after we get done filming. Uh, okay, all right, okay. So what would show you how to put together uh, a set of Legos to make a fork? Fort, yeah, like yeah. a fort. Fort, yeah. How about the instructions on the box? Oh, that's would, a, would yeah. That work? Yeah, that would uh, be good. Yeah. Uh, yes. So, if you're gonna go on vacation, uh -huh. and you're gonna go, I don't know, say to the beach. Okay. Do you know how to get there? Left lane, right pedal all the way down to the floor. Yes. Yes. Okay. But there, but do you know how? Like what roads to take? No, I just guess. So you're four-hour trip has turned into an eight-hour trip. About 20. <laughs> yes. What would you use? I, there's a little thing called an app on my phone. What? It's got it sitting right here on Almond Street. And it says you're going three miles an I'm, hour. I'm going, <laughs> I'm going six now. But no, I use the map app on my phone. It tells me how to get there and everything. Turn by turn. You have arrived turn at your turn. destination. Awesome. It says you've missed your turn. Complete a U-turn in 100 feet. Your turn is, you've passed it, turn around. I see it, yes. They don't like the way I go. So what would help you on how to pray? How to pray. Mm. Well, uh, I think I'm going to have to go with maybe the Bible. Yeah, the you, Bible. That's a good answer. That's a good. You are on a roll. Today. I am. I got them all. So today's story is from the Bible. is about the instructions that Jesus gave to the people. So... If you open your Bible to Matthew 6, I'm going to read the story, and you can kind of read through Matthew 6 and see where I'm going with the story. You got it? Got it. All right. So, people learn from Jesus. Great crowds of people followed Jesus. When Jesus saw them, he went up, went up on a mountain and sat down. His disciples came to him, and they began to teach. Jesus taught the people how to pray. He said, do not be like the people who love when others see them pray aloud in the synagogues or on the street corners. They want everyone to see them and be impressed with their words. Instead, go into your room where you are alone and shut the door. God will see you and reward you. Jesus continued, don't say the same words over and 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 over. And over. Like people who worship idols. They think they will be heard because they use many words. God knows the things you need even when you ask. This is how Jesus taught the people to pray. This is Matthew 6, 9 through 13. The verse is in the King James Version, which is the one that I learned 
when I was a kid. Mm. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us of our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. So that story is based off of Matthew 5, 1 through 2, and Matthew 6, 5 through 13. So what do you think about when you hear the word ark? Oh, uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Hmm. That was a good movie. It good was movie. a good movie. No, we're not thinking about that. <coughs> How about Noah and the two animals floating on the ark in the water? Yes. That would be my next Okay. Guess. What about guess. the mysterious and sanctified Ark of the Covenant? Yeah. Yeah. What about baby Moses was putting a little Ark in the brushes? He was. Baby Moses. Little baby Moses put away so nobody would find him. All of those would be right. This Hebrew word Ark for box or chest is used over 200 times in the King what? James. Over 200, 200 times. 200. Ark. In the King James Version. We can learn so much from reading the Bible. You know, like, unlike the people of the Bible times, we have Bibles that we can read and learn from, but Jesus taught back in the days. You know, they learned not the same way we did. You know, a mountainside provided an amphitheater for Jesus to teach about God and His Word. Jesus taught people to talk to God honestly, truthfully, and humble. You know, Jesus provided people with vivid examples. First, he reminded the people not to pray like the religious elite who loved to be seen and heard. This kind of prayer only yielded a reward from people. He also told the people not to pray like those who babbled in hopes that a false god would hear from them. This was custom of Greeks and others who believed in many gods. Then he gave an example. You know, the first word of it is our it reminds that we have the same Heavenly Father. We all have the same Heavenly Father. We do. The word for Father is an affectionate word Hebrew children use to address their earthly fathers. Still, we honor Him as holy. Until He comes back, we need to continue sharing the gospel. We are to trust God to provide what we need when we need it. Debts are sins. When we forgive others, we show that we are forgiven people and know how to forgive others. We ask God to help prevent us from giving into temptation. Although God does not lead us to temptation, He allows us to be tempted and tested. And tested. Yes. And you know, we were always tempted and tested, and it's how we get out of that situation was what God's looking for. So, you know, the importance of prayer, wanting to love Him, enjoy time with God through prayer. So how can you encourage the kids in your group to read the Bible regularly? Um, open your Bible every day. That would, that would be a start, yes. Read, read one verse, read one chapter, read one book. You can do that. You can do that, yeah. Well, you know. I have an app that I use. And they have a, it has a, it's the Bible app, and it has Bible plans on there. Right. And I started January 1st, and... Don't say with Genesis. I did. Oh. But it goes through the whole thing. Okay. It's the whole Bible. I mean, it's from the front, from the table of contents to the maps. Oh, I thought it just did Genesis only. No, it, no. Does, it does the whole Bible. Oh, the whole but Bible. You, it gives you like four or five books a day. Wow. So, or not books, but four or five uh chapters a day so i haven't missed a day yet that's good you got a streak going on i do is that got, what they call yeah i got street? a streak street so there's an app for everything so you know i need to remind you that prayer is not just to tell god stuff but to express their need for him you know like it said in the story and all that god knows what we need and he's going to give it to us when he wants to not when we need it or we think we need it He's going to provide for us in his timeline, you know. And I've told the youth before and all that, you know, you have to think about what you're praying for. You know, you, you can't pray and say, let me win the lottery. Come on, let me win the lottery. I need the lottery. I need the lottery. Show me the money. That's right. So 
instead of praying for winning the lottery, how about we tell God about our financial problems? Hey, God, I'm facing this. This is coming up. If you can give me wisdom and guidance through it. I didn't get my allowance this week. Yeah, well, you know, where's the tooth fairy at? Yeah. Yeah, you know. So, but, yeah, God taught, you know, in big open mountainside. It turned into a big amphitheater. He taught everybody. And instead, now we have to read in the Bible about what he was teaching about. So, you know what time it is? It's game, game time. time. That's right, game time number two. This is part two of game part, time. Part two. This is where you ask the questions and I give the answers. Yeah, now, I was pretty good in the first no, game. I probably won't be. Uh -oh, okay, <laughs> all right. Where was Jesus when he taught the people about prayer? This is so easy. I don't. Even, I can't believe this is the first question. Chick Fil A. He blessed the holy chicken. He did. He did. No, he was on a mountain. You know, he went up the mountain. The disciples followed him. Is that where the amphitheater was? Yeah. Ah. It, it became an amphitheater, so he could he could teach them. Why did Jesus say people like to pray aloud in the synagogues or on the street corners to be seen? No, on the street corners. I think I've done something. My You're time. good. You're okay. Good. Oh. Okay, all right. There, just, there we go. Why did Jesus say some people like to pray aloud in the synagogues or on the street corners? So people could see them. That's true. That's true. Because people were praying out loud so people could hear them and see them and probably say, wow, he's praying to God. You know, so that others would notice and be impressed with their words. What did Jesus taught, teach about praying by yourself? What did he teach us about praying by ourselves? People will look at you. They will. They'll look at you because they think you're talking to yourself. Yeah. Yeah, they think you're talking to yourself. But you, you know who you're talking to? You're God. talking to God. God. And you know what? what? He'll hear you. He will. He will. Because he knows what the question is before it's even asked. That's true. You know, if you're praying by yourself, God will hear you. God knows what you need. That is correct. What kinds of things did Jesus tell us to pray? Well, we read that earlier. We it was the, it's is that Matthew six? Right? It is. It is it's Matthew six five through thirteen. A so, lot of people call it the Lord's prayer. It is the Lord's prayer. Our, it starts with our. It means we all have the same heavenly Father. All right. True or false? Jesus prayed for people to be tempted. Yes. Oh, it's true or false? It's true, uh, true or false? Jesus, Does what? Jesus want you to be tempted? No. No, Jesus. So it's false. It's false. Yes. You know, Jesus doesn't want us to be tempted, but we are tempted because we're human. We live in the flesh. We go through trials and we go through tribulations, and it's how we handle those and get to the other side and all that. You know... So it says down here, and we're both going to encourage you, read one, one verse, verse a, a day, day this week. This week. So and then report back to us, send Michael a letter, because he seems to be the only one that ever gets letters. I get letters. And, and Kara, have from Baptist Church, attention Michael. Yes, I get letters. So read one verse a day this week. Pick your very, 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 very best verse that you read. Comment below or send it by the snail mail. And it'll be Snail here. mail is that little box at the post office over there by McDonald's. Just drop it in. We'll get it. Yeah. So, Children's Church at 1030 on Sunday here in this building. 1030 Sunday mornings, Children's Church here in this building. Uh, you got Misty and Wednesday night, 6 p.m. with Nicole or Christy. That's right. So we got Nicole or Christy yeah. on Wednesday night. Just depends so, whoever wins the coin toss. It's a flip of a <laughs> coin when they come in the front door. So whoever yeah. gets here first is the one that, that gets to teach. Is that, it? Uh, so Nicole, you I might I think get, that's how it works. Oh, okay. I'm not sure. Uh, Nicole, you might get Cheez-Its and chips. With Christy, I hear she gives Dr. Peppers and Hershey bars. Yeah. So Wednesday night, 6 p.m. with Christy. That's The only time she has Hershey bars, though, is... If I don't eat them before we come to church. Oh, so you just gobble them yeah. all in on the way here. Oh, is it, what's this for? You got a snacks? That's sweet. Yeah, that's it. Those are for the kids. Oh, <laughs> he's going to be in trouble. <laughs> so until next week, I'm going to say bye. Bye.